Scottish ports. Okay, good. Terror threats, doomsday scenarios, contagious disease warnings, natural disasters, anyone, anything to undermine our national security. Here <laughs> hey, North. Weather week. delay in Houston jammed him up. <laughs> Paperwork's all in order. You just gotta fax it to me. Okay, if I give it some water? Sure. Be careful. There you go. Hey. Uh -huh. Ew, you're friendly. Come on, watch one. Yes, my Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Julie doesn't like new food. You're spoiling that iguana, Joe. Just leave the food in her cage. She'll eat it when she gets hungry. Hang on. You gotta keep one of these in your dorm. Nikki here. <laughs> what kind of dog is it? This is a purebred African Basenji, all the way from the Congo. I just got her this morning. She bite? Oh, she might lick you to death. All right. Exactly what kind of surprise are we talking about? He said it was a surprise. Well, as long as it's not a wedding ring. Oh, no, it's a wedding ring. Call me on myself if you need anything. All right. Are you sure you want to do this, Mom? Yeah. You don't look good. I wouldn't let a little heat rash keep me from babysitting this pumpkin. Your daddy may be cute. But he is nothing but trouble to your mama. Who's that trash he's with now? Billy Wainwright. Shane met him in county lockup. Hell, man. He has Zerk ten times the size of that chip for the same money. She'd never know. I would. It's the point. See, I'm done lying. I'm done stealing. Oh, family man. Oh, it's important now. I'm committed. Well, at least stop by the Coral tonight for last drink. Say round one. I got you a wedding present. She'll still be working, man. Are you too whipped to have a little uh, bachelor party? All right, one drink, but then I gotta pick up Hannah from work. Hey, Molly. I hate the thought of you driving after work. We'll be back late Sunday. Safe and single, I hope. Hey, Bobby, who are you? You see, dogs know the true character of a man. Dogs lick their behinds, Shane. It doesn't prove a thing. Come on, just uh, pull up outside. All right, just wait in the car. What do you mean, wait in the car? I'm coming out right now, just wait. Hey, Billy. Bill. Wait in the car? This is Get back in! Get back in, man, let's go! Hey, 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 what are you doing? No. Wait, your wedding present, man. I just hit the club, let's go. What have you got? Got a 45-year-old black male baggage handler from the airport found in conjunctional hemorrhaging, global macular rash. One, two, three. <sighs> I'm not doing more time. How can you, you son of a... You're not right, right, right. No, wait. Wait. No, Billy, no. Billy. Came out from work today with a fever, rash, and the flu. Well, let's get a CBC. Cam panel, blood culture times three, I need blood pressure again. Falling. Boyfriend's here. 
Hey, man. He's in V-fib. Let's defibrillate. Charge 200. Clear. Clear. No response. Hey, let's go again. 300. Clear. Clear. Hey, let's, let's go, baby, okay? Are you okay? Yeah, we're gonna give Billy a ride to uh, Sedona. For what? Why? Yeah, he's uh, visiting his sister. Let's go, please. Come on, now. Time of death, 1.31 a.m. Give me the CDC. This isn't the flu. Every morning, the president receives a report that updates the most active threats against the United States. This report is called the Threat Matrix. The Department of Homeland Security handpicked teams of agents from the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA to analyze and respond to the Threat Matrix report. Now, their job is to keep us safe. Last night at 3 a.m., an unknown contagious disease emergency was declared by epidemiologists at St. Gregory's Hospital in Amarillo, Texas. There have since been seven confirmed deaths. Homeland Security has a team with the CDC in it. Sir, Do you suspect terrorism? We haven't ruled anything out, but of course, any public health crisis is a possible threat to national security. Citizens of Amarillo are being advised to seek immediate medical assistance if they develop uh, symptoms which include fever, nausea, headache, and rash. I can't have another Toronto on my hands. They still haven't recovered from the economic impact. SARS never killed 11 people in less than 24 hours. We have to know what it is, where it started, and figure out how to contain it. Mayor, unfortunately, it's not always as easy as being on the same cruise ship. We got some kind of nasty bug. CDC's already logged 30 cases, killing 11. Timeline started yesterday. First recorded case, 9.40 p.m. Patients started flowing in. After that, most were admitted. A few were sent home with aspirin. Any discernible pattern? All ages, races, economic backgrounds coming in from all over the city. Well, these people have to be connected somehow. So the last 48 hours, where they work, eat, sleep, play, you've got to track all of those patients. CDC's already started. All right, we'll get that data to Jelani and keep on digging. I still don't understand why a hot team from Homeland Security is here. Maybe I can help you, Mayor. Hey, Jelani, you got that simulation worked up yet? Uploading now. My calculations start with affected people in Amarillo. This is where we were this morning at 3 a.m. Okay, the green pixels represent infections, the red pixels fatalities. This is where we are now, six hours later. Spreading, but still containable if we work quickly. But say we don't. Say we allow unrestricted travel, normal contact. Show us 24 hours, Jelani. Okay, here's what will happen if it gets out of the city. At this point, no matter what we do, spreads. As airports start to shut down, at least 25 cities and towns are put in quarantine. The president declares a national emergency. 48 hours. All air traffic into and out of the U.S. is halted. The country's at a virtual standstill. And, of course, the looting breaks out. 72 hours. All the federal and state agencies are just consumed with the problem. There's rioting in most major metropolitan areas. And the national economy shuts down. How many dead people you got, Jelani? 250,000 and climbing exponentially. So, Mayor, we need to locate and contain every single person with this disease. We should probably do it pretty quick. We've been driving for hours. We make better time on the interstate. No, not in this old truck. Route us like caliber 55. Yeah, Mr. Family Man don't want to get a ticket. I choke on it. Kiss my ass, man. Hey. You two been acting weird ever since we got on the road. <coughs> it's just this, uh... Headache, I got. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like hell. My stomach. I love my roses. You do? Jelani, you have any patterns yet? We're looking at three clusters from the earliest victims. Six Vicks all spent time last night at the Country Girl. That's a bar downtown. Tim, you check out the bar. You got an address on that? 1443 West Austin. We've already dispatched Hazmat. They're sweeping it now. Are we at a uh, risk here? Do not leave the building without seeing him. 
Who is he? What about the other clusters? City College and a small group at the airport. That could be our point of entry. Okay, we're now up to 40 cases, 22 deaths. Two cases in Lubbock, students at a city college, one on an Amarillo to San Francisco flight. We're holding yeah, the other passengers. All right, looks like we've located our hotspots. And there's clearly more than one person spreading the disease. Then it's getting out. Yeah. All right, we have to quarantine the city. Uh, what are you doing? Just call it a super vaccine until we know what we're dealing with. The intention is to protect you from a number of different diseases. So have there been any tests on the long-term side effects? Who are you? Kilmer? If you want to stay in Amarillo, you got to take the shot. Since we became aware of this story, we've been working very hard to sort out a great deal of conflicting information. But one thing that we can confirm right now is that all major arteries in and out of the city have been closed down until this mysterious disease can be contained. This is just one of several precautions that Mayor Gonzalez has put into effect. I have a list here of some of the infected people. Were they all here last night? Yeah, they were all here. Sure didn't seem sick. They know each other? Oh, yeah. Chet and Larry work together. Marianne and Jeannie are friends. So, do you know why I didn't get it? Uh, we don't know that much yet. Listen, I'm going to need a list of all your employees, everyone that worked last night. Those cameras run tape? The CDC isolated it 20 minutes ago, Mr. President. It's a new strain of the virus. Yes, the Soviets were working on something like this, but they were never able to disperse it on a mass casualty basis. Now, at this point, we believe that Amarillo was a natural outbreak, not an act of terror. Sir, the CDC sent in a security image to the White House? You should be getting an image of it now, Mr. President. What is it? We're looking at a new strain of Ebola hemorrhagic fever. According to the CDC, this strain has an accelerated incubation period. In humans, 12 to 24 hours, and death can occur anywhere from 12 to 48 hours later, depending on the victim's immune system. How do you get it? Ebola is a zoonotic virus, usually maintained in an animal host from Africa. Humans contract it by coming into contact with an infected animal. All right, Jelani, run the occupations and credit card receipts of those first patients and victims. Look for any African connections. We're almost to the airport, so hurry. How does it spread, Lark? It spreads human to human through close personal contact, like a cold. What about that shot I just got? Well, you're not going to get the flu this year. Oh, wonderful. And what's the fatality rate? If you get it, there's an 80% chance you're going to die. The other 20% wish they could. So if you contain it, the disease dies out? Well, that's a big if. Those 20%, the walking infected, they're contagious for 21 days, and all they have to do is sneeze in an elevator or a public place, and we're off and running again. What's this? You got me the new Dixie Chicks? Roses were your uh, first surprise. That's your second. You have a fever. That flu's going around. I'm okay. I can drive. I need something to drink. Maybe we should pull over somewhere. No, I'm fine. I'm not. Hey, it's Molly. Leave a message after that beep, okay? Hey, Mom. My cell's kind of off and on out here. Where are you? Call me. I think I left my sunglasses there yesterday. Here it is. 7.30 yesterday morning, he unloaded a dog. The species is a canine, breed African Pisenchi from the Congo. Where did it go? Molly's pet and feed out on uh, Bicel Road. Got a big hit on the city college cluster. First student to die was a Joe Morgan. Had an iguana from Brazil named Julie. That I bet he bought here. Three more students came down with it this morning. Dorm's in a virtual lockdown now. Still no answer inside. The owners of Molly McLaughlin, five, a widow with one daughter. Got an image. Oh my God, a baby. Oh. Hey, it's all right. We're here. It's gonna be all right. That can't be the daughter. 